Hello, everybody. It's Nerdboy Weaves here. I am back with a new reaction. Uh, we are reacting to Night of Breath for the first time in a while. <laughs> we ha this is like the third cipher I've reacted to recently because I reacted to the Sonic cipher from uh, Vanquish Surreal, and then I reacted to the uh, Mario Party cipher from the Kevin Bennett. Uh, sorry. Now Night of Breath has the Boy cipher. Uh, from the show, the Prime show from the, uh, aka The Boys, from Prime TV. Um, it's her, Jaren on the beat, Jacob Kaz, obviously, KMB, Crollo, and more. So, I'm going to let you know, I like superheroes a lot. I just haven't really got too much into The Boys. I think because I feel like it's a, it's a cynical look on superheroism. And the I think original uh, creator stuff was has often been said, I don't know how true this is, that maybe it was possibly his way of showing uh, that showing his dislike for superheroes, except for a few. I don't know. But let's see what we got here. Yo, welcome to the Cypher. That's got Jacob. Hard hitters on here, not as hard hitting <laughs> as me. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. I knew I it. I get offensive. I crush a crib with the soles of my feet. They call me Homelander, like Jacob Cassidy. Do it. Of course, see, I'm taking no slander. See, I can relate to the disrespect. If he got a beef, his chin getting checked. See, I always hit where I heard at. Talk good to me, but I heard that. Oh. I don't care what pool you use, and I'll put a beat to a crowd. Air it out, family shook like a school shoot. But you see, I don't believe Oh! I believe in making you kill your. Oh, whoa. He really was not joking. They really have it. Oh no. Oh dude, you really did not hold me back. But then again, it's this character. It's this character. I may not have watched a lot of the boys, but I know Homelander's an ale. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen enough of this show to know this dude is a quote unquote evil Superman uh thing. I forgot what the term is, but basically he oh the architect. They or he supposed they look people look at him as like that. Apparently, Euphonium Man is really supposed to be the actual true Superman, evil Superman, um, archetype. Where the closest thing to, to it, uh, aside from uh, Phenonium Man, uh, um, would probably be um, Home. I mean, Omni Man from Invincible, who was also on Prime Amazon, Amazon Day. And yes, I did see the death battle between them. That was kind of a given. It was kind of a given. I'm sorry, but you're talking about a. Guy who's a test tube experiment versus the Saiyan Kryptonian fusion equivalent of Superman. Really? Come on. So fit not taking anyone's questions. Like, wow, no one can cancel me. I'm toxic. You better cancel me. So true. Can't taste feet. Oh! Phantoms Mave? Oh. Oh, if you didn't figure this out, uh, yes, the, uh, boy, hold on, uh, the boys, um, or the seven, should I say, are actually, it's very obvious to tell what they are modeled off of, uh, which is the Justice League, because Maeve is modeled off of Wonder Woman. Uh, Homelander, you can tell there's Superman, uh, in there. A-Train, Flash, uh, Starlight, I really don't know. The Deep, Aquaman, Black Noir, technically Batman. Kind of reminds me more of Snake Eyes, though. Oh, I wanted to... I don't know. I didn't... I wasn't sure if I was going to mention this. But a lot of people don't know this. In the comics, Homeland is a cannibal. And I'm going to... Put, if you know JoJo enough, you know... I'm going to kind of put this into this. Uh, con just so you guys can know how effed up he is. You know what? Remember when in Phantom Blood, when Dio turned that lady into a vampire zombie and you saw what she did with her baby? Homelander did something along the lines of that and he was doing it casually. It was, it is morbid AF. Oh my God. Just thinking about it makes me, ugh. Can't bury me. Queen. Can't taste the feet. Queen. Look around the sea. Queen. Oh, 
Oh, oh okay, the deep next. Oh, can it be Grolos? Uh, the deep, uh, Maeve is basically the more, like, cynical, depre depressed version of Wonder Woman. Um, well, a lot of people, a little fun fact that they probably, since we know that Maeve dates both genders, this is a fun fact to tell that Wonder Woman, since she's based on Wonder Woman, it's kind of the same thing with Diana. Because a lot of people don't know, I think, and, and I even think this was, like, from the very beginning, since she was, uh, Professor Morrison probably created her. If, especially if you know his life. And there's a movie about it with Luke Evans called, uh, Professor Morrison and the Wonder Woman. I mean, Wonder Woman. Uh, I think, and I honestly think this is, was there from the beginning, but it's been a known fact for people who know their comics, that Diana has always been bisexual. They just never had a reason to really go off of it. Uh, like, and you can't really deny it it not making sense, regardless of your beliefs, because she literally grew up on a woman, a, a island with women. Only where women were the only people allowed, and men were banned. So yeah, also Phantom always pulls off. You know, like, wait, that pulls out like she goes hard. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> hey, you. Oh, oh, Apex is H man. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Deep obviously is a um, nod towards Aquaman. If that wasn't obvious enough. Uh, sorry. <laughs> but when Aquaman, well, especially Jason Momoa's. Jason Moe's version is a giga chat. This one is kind of a disappointment. <laughs> yeah. And considering back the stuff, the stuff he did to Starlight. Then again, like it was kind of like this in the comics. Like, like she would get harassed by the male members of the uh, seven in the comics. But I think her character development was to grow past it and grow stronger, like to stand up to them. That was like her character development in the comic, and we kind of can kind of see it. Because I think, if I remember correctly, didn't she lead the seven at the end of season three? Hey. Oh. Okay, I know that whole drug thing because he takes a lot of compound. He had, took a lot of compound being because, like, he has that insecurity of, um, being like second or like being behind everybody, especially Homelander. And um, I know he had to get his a heart transplant in I think season three. Uh, and and also, I want to read uh, Apex is going to mention the whole thing with uh, Robin, uh, that which is Huey's girlfriend before start. Like in the comics, her him running past her was way brutal. Like in the comics, he went by her so fast. Her imprint was on the wall. It wasn't just no hands hanging. It was on the wall. It was horrible. And I think in the comics, uh, Huey actually kills A Train. Oh. Oh, Black Noir. Oh, I, I'm gonna talk about this one, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna let Bonnie uh call say here um uh, Jake's homeboy. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna let him run it, but like <laughs> like ah uh, dang like because I think that that one dude I think the dude who has our because. I don't even think that was a willing heart transplant either. I think Vought, if I remember, they just took it out of it because it was close. And it was compatible. And because, like, dude got put into a thing and there, it kind of triggered, you know. <laughs> yeah. Moment of silence. Because I'm about to talk. kill it. I'm the Mac girl over the fence, mouth closed, but the boys fucking know they're going to get our stain oh. in the dark. But not Batman. Black on black, because I'm a black man. <laughs> <laughs> 
man, man. Yeah, for Kimi. Okay, that's kind of a lie. That is a hundred percent of a lie. Well, this version might not be, but the comics, oh, oh, oh yes, he is. <laughs> Especially in the last parts of the boys, because they're probably going. To, I don't know. I don't know if this is true, but I'm going to say it anyway. In the comics, from the very get go, where we we see Homelander in the president's office, sitting, and Butch is there. Then we see Black Noir. He takes off his mask. He ain't this dude. He's a clone of Homelander. And he was made as a failsafe just to make sure if Homelander defected or, like, became a defective product for Vought, that he would... Nick. Uh, yeah. So, um... And we found out it wasn't even Homelander who killed Becky. It was him. Because even though he's like, oh, he's quiet, like, he doesn't... He seems sane. No, when he took out the mask... He started acting like a weird, cannibalistic creep. I literally saw the video showing the con, and Homelander has one of the most hilariously consecutive f bombs. Uh, Why he says, "You effing f, you f my life up." It was so wild. Kill it. I'm the macro over the fence, mouth closed, but the boys fucking know they're gonna get on stay in the dark, but not Batman. Black on black, cause I'm a black man. How did you talk to the nose in my head? Don't look at me. I'm not a man, man. Yeah, for Kimiko. By the way, she lost. Try to mess up the best. Oh, that's mean. That's what you fucked around and got tossed. Oh. I ain't a loony, so you better stand on now for you daffy duck me. Oh, they killed me off? Oh, motherfucker, man. You got my diamonds. <laughs> oh, that is. Oh, man. That mother. I mean, you got. <laughs> oh, God. And. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh. Why did that make me laugh? But then again, this series has a good amount of comedy in it. Uh, I know that's also right for season three because, like, this version of uh, Black Noir sees a uh, freaking. Um, Sorry, cartoon characters because of what happened to him in that flashback through that uh, through those cartoons that were playing in his skull because of Soldier Boy's like Cat America want to be behind. So yeah, so let's see who we talk. Oh, Banquet. Oh, I forgot the name of this guy. Shock now cause I rock out with mine No clothes, no draws, but I get it in Keep it low, bro, don't know where I've been No face, no case, but I'm here to win Take shots to raid as a sedative I keep it locked down, don't you get chopped now All you gon' see is a medic huh. I'm at the top now, never gon' drop down Can't see me, but don't forget it Yo. I'm number one, the first you bitch Oh, type, uh I think I might have saw this, uh, on, uh, Skull Show's, uh Ty Weezy's apparently, uh, storefront I have stuff to say about that one, too Uh, but, um I remember uh, seeing Huey Butch and them fight this guy. Like, didn't they blow this guy up, or didn't they ram a car a tr car into the store through it with him? It's been so long since I've seen that fight. I'm number one. The first. You bitches, my son. The worst. It's when all you niggas trigger my trigger fingers. I don't let it linger. I just bring this nigga a liberty. Keep it up, oh. history. Clear my history. Area synergy. Cause if it ain't white, then it ain't right. Ah! I'm trying to give you some insight. We gotta keep it all inside. Need a oh my gosh, she is speaking so much on Stormfront's character, especially in this version. Uh, cause if you don't know, she's a Hydra agent, and I will not say the word, even though I'm not monetized. I'm not going to say the word. I'm going to pull a CJ to chat and say she's a higher agent and was considered, I think, one of the first superheroes. Um, and yeah, she's uh, kind of heavily racist. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to say this before, but her relationship with Homelander in the comics is a lot different in the show. And I'll explain probably after Tyree's finished popping off. Keep it a mystery, clear my history, area synergy Cause if it ain't white, then it ain't right Don't fight, trying to give you some insight We gotta keep it all inside Need a man like a super saiyan I ain't playing with a strong with the blonde hair, blue eyes Real Oh, oh. got super saiyan, have blue eyes, mine, but I bring a storm when you front to be blunt You cuss me at the front of the current, now you stun And you purple from the hunt, no time for the bake All real, no stunt, huh You don't never wanna fuck with this so 
Oh, oh, Callan got Soldier Boy. Oh, wow. Oh, um, okay, I can say it now. And because we're going into Soldier Boy, this fits perfectly. This fits perfectly, and thank you, KOB, for getting this cipher together. And those who helped make this. Uh, Stormfront in the comics is actually a man, for one thing. They made her a female, however, to uh, mess with Homelander's ego on purpose. Uh, Soldier Boy, however... <laughs> um, fun fact, even though in the show, because I'm going to say it right now, yes... Uh, I know she, uh, Soldier Boy's Homelander's dad in the show, but fun fact: Stormfront is actually Homelander's dad in the comics, and uh, Soldier Boy in the comics is Homelander's bitch, and has slept with him in that sense. And yes, I know what I'm talking about. Shut up. <laughs> You don't never wanna fuck with a soldier Off in the gas, we puffin' on over Out of my coma, I hardly am sober Off in the one-on-one, -on -one, play by composure Money, money, power, status Call me old fashion, man How about getting your ass kicked? Play me for passing, you playin' with ass And I'm radio racket All that talking, I'm hearing behind me Normally wish you could mirror my psyche Almighty, I deal with them lightly You want my song, but ain't nothing like me Oh! I knew so, I had a feeling uh, she was gonna be Starlight. Uh, KOB was gonna be freaking Starlight. Um, <laughs> but uh, like you, you might somebody you ain't like me. Uh, like you might somebody, you ain't like my uh, like um, again. Well, because here's the thing: the only thing Colander aside from blood in this series. Uh, him and Soldier Boy really share is that they're both a-holes. They are both a-holes with egos. <laughs> and you know what happened between him and uh, Black Noir in the show. That, why do you think freaking his brain is... Yeah. Man, Jensen Eckle, for what I saw of this, played, was, played the freak out of that role. <laughs> Because, again, he's supposed to be a D-bag version of Captain America, kind of like how Peacemaker is. Um, <laughs> and the thing is, Jensen Eggle is currently voicing Batman in the animated films that right now. Uh, rest in peace, Con Kevin Conroy. Rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. But Jensen Eggle, I think, during the time of Supernatural, there was, I think, an episode. And he was behind a, a seat of actors. He's at um, Batman. Uh, he was recently Batman in uh, Legions of Superheroes. Uh, with, but they use it with Supergirl instead of uh, Clark, a teenage Clark Kent. Ah, <laughs> Clark Kent. And but he made his debut as Batman, that at, both voice wise as uh, Batman, in uh, <laughs> the two part Long Halloween, uh, Long Halloween movie that Naya Rivera, rest in peace, to her too, um, where uh, Naya Rivera was Catwoman. So yeah, sorry, I'm going on a nerd tangent. I'm not, I'm not sorry. Star they'll see tonight. No, I'm not a damsel. Put up a fight. Fuck all the press. I won't be polite. Play your games. Fuck my head if you dare. America's sweetheart's got weapons to bear. They want me on top. Scoot home in your chair. I stand for what's right. Thought won't make me scared. Oh boy. I'll oh. Okay. She was speaking the truth because I told. I said this earlier on. This is kind of like her dealing with this dudes on the seventh BS is literally her, her care development to be stronger and the actually you still. In a way, hold an example of being a superhero, a good, the right type, because she all she's ever wanted to do is the right thing. Fuck all the press, I won't be polite. Play your games, fuck my head if you dare. America's sweetheart's got weapons to bear. They want me on top, scoot home in your chair. I stand for what's right, thought won't make me scared. Oh boy, I'll shock you with my electricity. I'm with the boys, I'm sure the seven's missing me. Reads off the chart, I touch the hearts of all Gen Z. Suits fear my name no more for sorts, I am an A. Oh! I'm an A. That was nice. Also, because Annie is Starlight's actual name. Uh, <laughs> you should have said Generation V. Because <laughs> I know that she said Gen Z. But Generation V, Gen V could have been used because there was a show spinoff called Gen V coming out and it would have been a good opportunity. I'm going to play that part back. Chart, I touch the hearts of all Gen Z. Suits fear my name no more for sorts, I am an A. 
Hey, we're going to the boy. Oh, Westside Daily? Oh. oh, okay. One, how cool is that? Westside Daily is back on here. I'm back. I finally see him in some cypher for the first out of a while. But okay, you because uh, my ex, because like Robin, I said it before. The girl that he was with who got killed in the literally first episode and the beginning of the series in general in the comics. Yeah. And I do know this is when uh, Huey and Bush were taking uh, that diff uh, like alternate version of Compound B. Yeah. Get these hands like my ex, even if I'm under stress, I impress when I put them straight through your chest. Uh, we can we do it big though, kick your head off steel toe for real, bro. Like who ain't stopping the train? The hurt and the pain combined with the fear okay, in my veins. To be honest, I got zero complaints. Revenge in my lane, increasing my range. Don't get it fucked up. Huey off the leash. He Cause like, cause he was pissed. Rightfully pissed. You freaking killed his girlfriend. He was at a freaking super speed. What the freak are you expecting? I just got me for the night. I ain't combined with the V in my veins. To be honest, I got zero complaints. Revenge in my lane. Increasing my range. Don't get it fucked up. Huey off the leash. Hero gas and win this nut bus. That is so true. A lot of people don't know. if because I'm going to say it right now because we're far enough to think. And granted, I have not read Hero Gas. And I probably will never read the Boys Comics in full ever. Because they are too... More. This is the one thing, one superhero adapted thing I've ever heard that people like to show better than the comics. It is they're that morbidly effed up. But Hero Gasm, which I think in the comics it was a lot bigger scale than what we saw in the uh, freaking uh, freaking um, show. But what you saw the superheroes doing in that was exactly what happened in the comics. But on a bigger scale. And isn't that literally... if Like, isn't Hero Gasm also, like, freaking... When Soldier Boy was that uh, energy, too? And didn't that cause May to lose her powers? This shit get crucial and violent. Just like no war, leave your whole squad silent. Permanent, early retirement, tiring. Start life steady firing. That's my baby, she the one that been mine. Because they dating. Feeling this timeless. We the boys, tell me what the fuck you thought. On this squad, fuck this seven. Oh, that's how they kill him. Straight up top, fuck a soldier, bro. I superman at home. Big drink. And then. With Josh and kiss him through the phone. He a boy. I'm like Rebel, man. I'm really like Shalom. On the day. Okay. Okay, Mayor Red went to any different things. that I caught some of them, uh... Free, I think he said a uh, ramble like so because John Rambo played by Sylvester Stallone. I almost said Rocky, who's also played by Sylvester Stallone. Um, and also, like, I think puts uh, uh, hold Soldier Boy because um, Soldier Boy did something that kind of caused his grandfather to die, and he's kind of held on to that kind of like. I think also he mentioned something about um, MM's daughter. Uh, I think. Dude, dude, you're popping off. I saw this scene too. Like, like you gotta understand. I think isn't like he's the only one of them uh, that's technically like actually a legit dad. Well, technically, wait, actually, hold on. I was about to say Bush, but uh, mm, I really can't say that. Because all the mercenaries. Yeah. Oh! Mom, call 
Oh, here, Br here's Frenchman. I was doing trash just to pass the night. When I met you, I saw another line. And I kill a soup today, I decided. I'm with the boys, then we pull up on a fight. I'm trying to talk, keep me going, take your island. I was doing trash, my fault, I couldn't hide it. If you need a gun, then I'm the guy you come to. I'm the guy that you never know what I'll do. Hey, I'm in a whole nother class. I might put the bomb right in a nigga ass. <laughs> Wait, didn't didn't that happen that one uh was that in season three? Or was that literally the whole thing with that uh invisible dude? Cause I do know there was this one dude straight uh I remember right now it's kinda of made me oh okay that's that was gross. Oh another class, I might put the bomb right in a nigga ass. Oh, no, really crazy, I'm sorry. That just means I'll catch another body. Uh, Hey, Rocky! I broke free from the prison that was James. That's my bro, but he lives on in my name. I won't lose no one else in my heart. Lives a flame. Rewriting my story. I'm beauty, not the beast. Oh, uh, I'm beauty, not the beast. Well, she is kind of a savage. Actually, she actually is a hardcore savage. Because she's like literally, the I think, the only person who actually had Tom Alvin in her when they found her. I think the actress who plays Kimiko is actually, uh, I think, Kipo, the voice of Kipo. She was either in, either I think, Kipo or Shira, Princess Power? I think. I, I'm going, I honestly think it was Kipo. Um, I think she also was in, in some other recent anime movies that came out a few years ago. But uh, I know in the, uh, okay, Kimiko in the comments is known as the female. Well, they call her that here, too, but... Uh, I, in the comics, they have like, her and Frenchie actually are more father and daughter, whereas in this, they're more you can kind of tell. I'm not normal, like I be in my veins. Cause she has Tom about me. I broke free from the prison that was shame. That's my bro, but he lives on in my name. I won't lose Storefront no one else brother. in my heart. Lives a flame. Rewriting my story. I'm beauty, not the beast. Sick of the violence. One girl will soon have peace. The songs I wish to sing, my voice will be released. But while I wait for it, I have the voice at least. Girls get it done, but fuck a Nazi bitch. Eh? Mess with my family, will end up in a ditch. No punches at me, I'll hell up real quick. Tell myself I I must be a witch. I don't fear my past anymore. I'm CV fucking wonder kicking down your door. My squad is getting stronger than they were before. But without me, the boys would be such a Oh, the butcher coming. Oh, okay. I wonder who we got left. Cause I feel like there's well, I feel like there's one more. I could be wrong. But dang. Like she was speaking a lot. Like, and also I I wasn't I didn't know I was gonna also miss this. I actually have a character of mine, which I'm probably going to redesign later, that's actually kind of inspired by Kimiko. Um, I already had this character, but her redesign and character rewrite is going to be in, is actually kind of inspired by Kimiko. I love the scene where her, Starlight, and Maeve literally gang up on Stormfront. And I love how she's doing, like, she's smiling, like, I, I was like, okay, that scene plays rent-free in my head because that's actually a motivation to, for some reason. That scene, I wouldn't say motivation, but it sticks in my head as the type of how, her, how like, so much spunk or attitude she had in that scene that goes with my character that uh, the rewrite of uh, is inspired by Kimiko. Because my rewrite, because I have this, like, sort of thing of my, with my art stuff um, that involves a superhero detective agency. And a lot of my detective characters or people who are in that agency have powers like because of a sort of similar like compound bean serum except unlike compound bean your chances of dying have been canceled out thankfully but you there still is some cost and consequence to it not too too bad but you won't die that's what it is <laughs> sorry 
Uh, the butcher coming in, I'm serving a beef. Murdered the beef, take caution, okay. what you heard in the streets. Niggas translucent, I see through their lives, they get... Oh, translucent, man, that's what it is. ricochet when I slide through your spot. See, they all know when I'm on my shit today, people dying a lot. You get your mob, don't leave them mesmerized when I light up my shot. Let's just be honest. You don't want to get up in my sights, I keep a beam on it. Seven set to heaven in a second if they keep talking. Okay, beam on it, because he, he, when he had compound beam in him, he was able to shoot laser beams. And hold on, he was like, what the F? <laughs> I saw that scene when him and Soldier Boy and Huey went on, off on him. Also, God the Don, dang, you, God the Don, you were popping off right now. Mama shit said they people dying a lot. You get your mob, don't leave a mesmerized when I line up my shot. Let's just be honest. You don't want to get up in my sights, I keep a beam on it. Seven set to heaven in a second if they keep talking. Off it tops like a freestyle. Took a gun home, landed in my bed, she my queen now. Cobar in my hand, you turn Jason Todd with the beat down. Oh! It's even if I turn the beat down. He's wild. Oh! Jason Todd with a beat down. Oh! Dang, because he mentioned a crowbar. If you don't know you're freaking Red Hood, I don't get how to free you don't. Uh, it's You know that's what Joker beat Jason Todd to death with. Well, beat to near to death. Then left in a room with explosive. Then he died. Then got resurrected by Rage Al Ghul. Then when Jason became the Red Hood, especially if you've seen the other Red Hood movie, he decided to just... Jason tried to do the same thing. And also even in Red Hood, the outlaw comic, after Jason got kicked out of Gotham... He started, he didn't even have, I don't even think he had guns anymore. He, had, he was just beating people with crowbar left and right. Dang. And in a second, if they keep talking, off the tops like a freestyle. Took a gun home, landed in my bed, she my queen now. Crowbar in my hand, you turn Jason Todd with a beat down. Still go for the hits, even if I turn the beat down. He's wild. What the fuck you expect? <laughs> Keep acting like a soldier boy, then you'll be seeing this tech. My team is a threat, so try to go against us, don't bother. Or else you won't get son like me with my own father. Oh. You know what that means? You all getting slapped the fuck up. I Daddy's yeah. home. Oof. Oof. That was wild. Oh, man. KLV and everybody was on this. Y'all slapped. Dang. Oh, my God. And my camera didn't fall down. Because <laughs> my camera tends to fall down sometimes. Especially if I'm going too hard on these. So, like... Yo, I'm so glad I finally get to uh, react to this, man. Oh, jeez, like, and again, I, have, I, I'm more familiar with the boy. I mean, Invincible than I am the boys, and but because I've actually read a good amount of the boys' comics, and if, again, if I don't care that I talked a lot, I'm just literally using my dogs with what I remember, and the things I do actually pick up because again, I do read comics. And, um, yeah, and, and you gotta remember, Boys and Invisible are literally on the same streaming service. <laughs> it was, oh my god, um, oh my god, um, y'all, if y'all have read the comics or don't, have not read the comics in Invincible, there are gonna be some characters that are gonna be appearing soon that you are not gonna be prepared for what they do. Because I, because much like Invincible... I mean, let's like the boys. Invincible has a lot of DC influence on it. Only difference is Invincible actually crossed over with Marvel because Mark got to hang out with Spider Man. So yeah, and also Mark's name itself is also kind of DC inspired. When you think about it, because his last name is Grayson. What superhero has Grayson as their last name? Dick Grayson. So you can see a lot of similarities in oh, in the Guardians of the Globe. Justice League uh, of Invincible. Kind of like the seventh Justice League of the boys. So, but I think when uh, Invincible, there's both a mix of Marvel and um, DC influences. And I think Seth Rogen works on both these shows. The only thing is Stephen Yuen is on uh, Invincible. Everyone else is on here. And I know the guy who played Huey was in a, uh, one of the Scream movies. I think it was the most recent one before the one that came out this year. Uh, five. Um, which was the first one Jenna Ortega was. And I know she was in the second one, in the sixth one, because, like, my coworker just saw the movie. Cannot wait for season two of Wednesday. <laughs> and I'm going to stop talking now. 
Well, if you like this video, please subscribe and share. I'm out. Bye.